Hey guys, it's Laura Probasco and welcome back. Um, I hope that you have joined us before and if you haven't, welcome. We're happy that you're here. And this is kind of the segment that I'm hoping to do most Tuesdays, today's Wednesday on purpose. Um, but to kind of have this idea of whispers to self. And the idea that I came up with this is that in order to have a whisper, we have to be quiet. In order to hear it and receive it, we have to be still and present. And this takes a lot of practice and it takes a lot of uh, doing things differently than we ever did because we spend a lot of time numbing and we spend a lot of time uh, protecting things, right? So today, it's about our birthday suit, right? It's about full on, no clothes, nakey nakey happening, right? We are pulling all off, not literally, uh, although I should have probably done no makeup, right? But we're pulling it all off to kind of talk about a couple ideas today. And one of the reasons is um, this time of year I do a lot of reflection because it happens to be my birthday today. A couple of years ago I was born screaming with lots of dimples on my booty that I didn't even care to cover at that point, right? And coming into the world uh, raw, open, and exposed. And the other thing, of course, is it's July 4th, right? Happy birthday, America. And so we've got a couple of components of going on of this idea of birth or celebration. And so I thought I could really kind of glean on how that's important to us with the V word. No, I mean vulnerability. And the idea of vulnerability being so scary for us. And it's kind of like the naked dream that you wake up and you're in a lecture hall or you're taking that test and you realize you're completely exposed because nothing is on you. You can't grab anything. There's no books in store to put it on your parts, right? So we're completely uh, open and exposed. And why that's so scary is because I think that most of us are not okay with our own vulnerability and most of us are not okay with what's underneath. And so we don't practice it well. We don't get underneath the hood, we don't get underneath our clothes and underneath the, these layers and makeup that we put on and really see ourselves for raw and enjoy it. I had a really good experience this last week that I thought I could share with you guys and that is I was with a friend and we were spending some time together and they noticed that I knew a lot of people and I knew their stories and I went straight to it and they knew my stories and there was a lot of vulnerability happening and I have actually been super criticized for that, of uh, asking too many questions, being too um, intrigued by people's stories, um, sharing too much. Um, and so it was interesting that I think this was in a positive light of how, what is that? And it really made me stop to say, you know what? I don't have to stand behind being criticized for not playing the game or for doing these other things the way that we're supposed to. I actually get to say I really like that about me. I really love that I love to pursue and enjoy people's stories and their hearts and to really be able, if if appropriate, whisper, right? Whisper into their lives and have them whisper into mine. And so I just thought it was such a great example of what it looks like to be comfortable with your uh, rawness, what it looks like to be comfortable with your vulnerability. Because all vulnerability does is it bleeds into more vulnerability, right? Some of us run away from that. And I guess my question to all of you is, what are we running from? What is so scary about owning your story and trying bit by bit by bit to allow that to be loved, right? Because what I have found of the deepest things that are inside of me that I don't enjoy <laughs> or that I know that need to change, there is someone right there that's encouraging and loving and empathetic and wanting to be a part of that in some way. So as we think Nike, I'd like us to kind of think about it in a different context of, yes, it's risky. Yes, it's scary. Yes, it's somewhat, uh, we don't know what will come back, right? We don't know if someone will like what our rawness looks like. But the important thing for us to remember is that when you're vulnerable with yourself, you have a lot of congratulations you should give, right? And when we see someone be vulnerable, it's our job to really step up and really accept that and enjoy that and not run away. 
it's just a way to love each other in a different aspect. And I thought that using our birthday suits and using that biggest fear for all of us would be a good for topic for this week. So as I celebrate today and as we all celebrate um, um, this week, I just kind of put it out there that when you're with your friends and family, see what it looks like to baby baby steps, right? To kind of take off a little bit of a layer, to ask a little more questions, to not be so plugged in um, to social media this weekend. Maybe it's something we could do together. Okay, thank you for coming by. And remember, it's okay to be naked. <laughs> Bye.